Hello everyone, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy 2024. We are at the end of the year, so I thought I would do a series of videos on what have been my most used plug in 2023. These are gonna be fun and quick video lists. And of course, I wanna know what have been your most used plugins in 2023. Write it in the comments down below. In this one, my favorite and most used stereo field manipulators and 3D positioning plugin. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss West TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, all the links to the plugins that we're gonna see in this video are gonna be in the info box down below, along with other cool links you should definitely check out. If you haven't already, go to the new website, mixbustv.com. In there, you can find all the mix and mastering courses available on many different genres, start to finish. And right now, until January 6th, you can use this coupon, mixbus50, to get 50% off any of the mix and mastering courses. On the website, you can book all the other courses as well, mix, master, in private lesson, mix consultation, and a lot more. And if you want to access all the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, you also get mix consultations. And if the videos are helping you, you want to support the channel, consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Let's get to the video. All right, this is the last video in the series of my favorite most used plugins. I don't know if this is going to be the last that I publish, but it's the last one that I film in. And we start with the king of stereo processing and manipulation, Matthew Lane, Dr. MS, still there, still use it a lot. And of course, I have the spacecraft, the kind of the hardware version, analog version of it, but the plugin is still killer. I use it all the time. It actually can save some pretty messed up uh, mixes or samples that come. They are out of phase and they lose all the mono channel or their or the stereo image is messed up. So it, this, this plugin is not only a tool for enhancement, but it can fix some pretty nasty problems. Next one is kind of recent. I think I got it this year and I love, love, love this plugin, especially now that I'm doing a lot of Atmos mixes. I've always had a lot of uh, 3D positioning, even in stereo, and a lot of binaural things in my stereo mixes. But now that I'm working in Atmos a lot, I find myself wanting to transfer some of the techniques that we use there. And this is definitely one plugin that allows me uh, some very cool tricks. Not only you have the positioning here of this, but you can add the reflections and you can change, you can see the material of your surroundings. So wooden floor or curtain, or a concrete block. It's very, very cool plugin. You got the direct, the reflection, and even a reverb. I really like this plugin. You can also do a sequencing, so you can also move things around and make things move around you. It's actually very cool. You have a sequencer here. You can add things with an LFO or a B. Very cool plugin, Wave Arts Panorama 7. Next one is pretty much a godsend when I want to stereoize something. And I don't want to do it with like the classic. I don't want the usual stereo effect like delay one side and a few milliseconds and call it a day. This one is high quality stereo eyes in and there's quite some research behind it. You can maintain mono compatibility as well. It's an amazing sounding plugin. There are enough options to keep you occupied for a couple of minutes before you find the, the right settings. But if you scroll through the very well done presets, you will find most definitely something that is close enough from there tweak. I'm not a fan of presets, but this one has definitely good starting points, a lot of options, and it's one of the best stereoizer plugins out there. Oh, the RT tube modulator, you've seen me using this more often than I probably should. Uh, it's just an amazing plugin. It can create very, very cool effects. I even love the little graphic that moves and it shows you what it's doing. It's got three functions here, Leslie, Wow and Flutter and Panner and all these different algorithms for vibrato, chorus, chorus vibe. And I have countless videos where I show how I use this plugin. It's, it's a brilliant plugin. Next one is again, one of my safe places because <laughs> the Ozone Imager, to a lesser extent, but almost like the Exciter multiband here we have for these uh, stereo field processor. It's so versatile, it sounds great, quite transparent with the filter. It's got a lot of options, but it's easy and quick if you want to stereoize just a portion of the frequency spectrum on an element. The new version also has this recover sides option if you have to reduce the stereo field in some cases. And 
it happens just like for a dot or a mass sometimes you kind of have to fix some problems whether it's in a mix that is sent to me for mastering or samples that are not that well designed let's put it this way this is definitely one of the best stereo field manipulator plugins next leap we stage one had to make the list this is again one of the best highest quality and well designed stereo manipulator we got the usual width with a high pass we got the depth which is kind of similar to what dr ms does it does it in a different way it sounds different love it because i have another option on something that is so very rare and then we have the mono spread that's probably the one function that i like the best about this plugin it's also very easy to use with just the slider the the gui i love the gui no frills straightforward it is a little bit CPU intensive, but again, it's because Leapwig makes really high quality plugin. This one is amazing. Last one is one of those plugins that I don't like to talk about it because I wish nobody knew about it. and I wish I could keep it as a secret, but I've mentioned it before is DC1210, a spatial expander is one of my favorite plugins, no matter what the category is. This is a spatial expander. So it works for many things. It works as a vocal doubler, it's an amazing vocal doubler I just don't want to tell people uh, it works it's not something you would put on a mix okay so not like the, some of the others like leap week or dr. MS don't put this this thing on a mix but single tracks if you want to enhance the stereo that is already there if you want to stereoize a track that is mono or if you want to create special effects that are outside of the speakers this thing is the bomb like I said I don't really like to talk about it so I might delete this last part of the video I'm joking. Uh, this is it. This was another hopefully fun list for you guys. I want to know what are your most used and favorite spatial processing 3D stereo field manipulator plugins in 2023. Leave them in the comment down below. If you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider using the super thanks, support the channel, and check out the new website, mixbustv.com. You can use this code, mixbus50, until January 6th to get 50% off all and any of the mixing courses available in there thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already stay safe see you next time